Algebra 2 Honors, Lesson 13.4, The Law of Sines. Start with the area of non-right triangles. For a right triangle, it's just area is 1 half base times height. Although they have to be perpendicular to each other. That causes problems because what if we get a triangle like this? We know that this is, say, 8 and this is 12, and now we have to figure out area. Well, the first thing we do is we draw in a height. Let's imagine that this was 42 degrees or something like that. And now we can use that angle and some of our Sokotoa to find the height. So we know that sine of 42, call that h, sine of 42 equals h over 8. Therefore, h equals 8 times sine of 42 degrees. Now, if we want to find the area, one half the base. 12 times the height, 8 sine of 42 degrees. Blast it out on the calculator. We get 32.1 units squared. I teach physics too, so should be a little bit better than I typically am. All right, no problem. We call this triangle side, angle, side for side, angle, side. So if we're given a triangle with a side, another side, and then the angle that's between them, just multiply it out like we did. Side times side times sine of the angle. We get the height. Well, let's make your life miserable. This is what math teachers live for. Well, not miserable, but harder. We'll uh, make this 6. Make this 122 degrees. Make this 14. A lot of people pointed out to me that we'll just find this angle here that's 58 degrees because they add up to 180. And then you go sine of 58 and you do this whole H thing again, you're good to go. Well, I point out to them that sine of 58 equals sine of 122 degrees. So we don't even have to change this. We have a side angle side, side angle side. So we just take it and multiply it out. The area is going to be 1 half the base, 14 times the height, 6 times sine, 122 degrees. The bigger question is, why are those two equal? And the answer to that, of course, is that for sine, just sine doesn't work for cosine. We find out that they have the same reference angle. Therefore, the sine of both of them is the same. Blasting this out, I get 35.6 units squared. And I strongly suggest you try that on your calculator that those two are the same. So there we have it. If we know a side angle side, remember the angle has to be what we call included. So see this was three and this was four. We would need this angle. This was seven. This was 12. We need that one. If this was six and this was eight, we'd need that angle. As long as you have those angles, then you can just run through this. And that's what you get. All of these. Now let's imagine a Triangle, not a right triangle, where we know ABC angles and ABC sides, what I've been calling big ABC for the angles and little ABC for the sides. They'd all be equal. Because the triangle has the same area, no matter how we calculate it. Divide out one half ABC for each one.
and we get sine of a. I'm going to change this color just so it's a little easier to see. Sine of a over little a equals sine of b over little b. And that's how we usually will use it, just two pieces. But it could be any two pieces because sine of c over c will be the same ratio. So look at these. They cancel, 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 cancel. Oof, somebody forgot to write it in. That was pretty bad. Cancel, 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 cancel. Example. This is really quite easy to use. You do need to be good with proportions, which a lot of people aren't. Um, no, it's, it's your problem. Uh, before we go any further, two-second review from geometry. All the angles in a triangle add up to 180. So if I know I have 55 and 45, I just go... B equals 180 minus 45 minus 55 equals 80 degrees. Now I know that. I can say sine of 55, C, over the opposite side, 12. Do whichever one we want. And we just do one at a time. Sine of 45 over A. I will do it one time. I basically cross multiplied and solved. You need to be good at this. If you're an Algebra 2 student, this should be a piece of cake. If not, go ahead and cross multiply what my students call the Jimmy Neutron and get an answer. For me, from here on out, I'll just blast it out and hopefully it'll make sense. I get A equals 10.4. Last thing we need is B. Let me change up colors here so it's a little easier to see. Sine of 55 over 12. Look at that. Same thing we just did. Not changing anything. Equals sine of B, which we know is 80. Write that in if it makes you happy. Over B. And again, I just go straight to the answer. I've done it often enough. I know it's going to be 12 times sine of 80 divided by sine of 55. Love to show you how to use a calculator on this, but you're kind of on your own with that. I can pop it up, but a little bit time constrained. That will take a very long time. I wish that was the end of this. I mean, I really, really do. But unfortunately... We have complications. Now, if you want to go back to the world of geometry, you can. But the long story short is this, this is angle, side, side. It's the same for all of them. So on and so on. And if you've not learned your geometry, there is no angle, side, side. It doesn't work. And you can see why here. You might have a leg that is too short. And it doesn't connect. You might have a leg that connects perfectly at a right angle. You might have a leg that could connect twice. So I'm going to short the theory behind that. Hopefully you've seen geometry before. But long story short, you just look and then you go from there. 118 is an obtuse angle. A is bigger than 17. So now we do all this preliminary work and we say one solution. Got it. <clears throat> if there's one solution, I don't have to worry about anything. I do exactly what we just did. Now, this is actually new in that you haven't had to solve a problem like this before. Sine of B is going to equal this part. If you want to cross multiply it, go right ahead. You get 0 0.751. Now to put it in your calculator, you get you do b equals sine negative first, 0 0.751. You should get 49 degrees. 
Now you've got a triangle with 118 degrees, 49 degrees. Now you have to figure out big C and little c. You've already done this. You know two of the angles, so big C is 180 minus 49 minus 118. gives you 13 degrees. Use the original data from the problem. Do not use the B that you've calculated. It won't be as accurate. Sine of 118 over 20. Sine of 13 over little c. C equals Five point one. Take a second and check all the ratios. Sine of thirteen over five point one should equal sine of one eighteen over twenty equals sine of forty nine over seventeen. Now you'll have to scroll back, or if you have the note sheet in front of you, scroll up. I'm not going to do it, but we're going to find out that this one is going to have two solutions. To do that. Calculate B sine of A and then use the table above. In this case, that is equal to 14 times sine of 39. You get 8.8. .8. 14 sine of 39 equals 8.8. .8. I guess I will go back up. So B is greater than A. 14 is greater than 10, which is greater than B sine A which is 8.8, .8. you're going to have two solutions. If you thought life was complicated this far, this is where things get very challenging. So we have to do the same old thing at least to start. Sine of A, sine of 39 over 10 equals sine of B, over 14. This is going to be called B1. I'll explain why in a moment. Crank it out in the calculator. Get B1 is 62 degrees. I showed you earlier that sine of an obtuse and a sine of an acute angle can be the same. The way to figure out what that same angle is is just to go 180 minus 62. This is going to be your B2. It's 118 degrees. So now you're going to crank these out. You'll find that C equals 180. Pardon me, C1 equals 180 minus 39 minus 62. Gives you 79 degrees. Sine of 39 over 10 equals sine of 79 over little c2. c2 equals 15.6. Over here, c2 equals 180 minus 39 minus 118 equals 23 degrees. A is the same for both of them. Big A and little a is the same for both of them. But now you get a different C value and a different V value. C2 equals 10 sine of 23 divided by sine of 39. 6.2. I would pause it and go and see what you get for this. You end up with no solutions. Don't forget to calculate your B sine of A to see why. And that's it. That's a lot. Law of signs is very, very challenging.